The final week of the regular season is upon us as Wenton Woods makes the trip north to battle the Lebanon Warriors. Wenton Woods is coming off a road win against Loveland, while Lebanon defeated Walnut Hills on the road as well. With playoff, playoff implications on the line, we gear up for the final Friday night of the regular season here on ICRC TV. Welcome to Lebanon, Kyle Evans. Thrilled, thrilled to be alongside my broadcast partner once again in Logan Dyer, and we're going to dive right into our keys to the game tonight, partner. Awesome. Keys of the game, Wynn Woods. Got to have a bounce. They're, they're a dual threat with Tyler Gooding and his 500 yards on the ground and Tamar Harris, 500 yards in the air. Justice Hill also has 13 sacks. Lebanon has to get the ground game running. Alex Klein has, he's got to find ways to get some yards. He's got 600 plus on the, on the season. The ground game is going to be their key. And they've also got to start and score early. This Wynn Woods team can definitely score some points. Two teams definitely looking for a win to close out the regular season. We talked a little bit about this off the air. You don't want to look. You don't want to start looking full ahead to next week. You still have one game tonight, and you got to kind of keep your head focused on that because with a win tonight, Lebanon can can secure at least a home playoff game in the first round. Wenton Woods is, has already clinched that. So if you're both teams, how do you kind of keep your head mentally in the game and just just focus on tonight? You just got to exactly what you said. You got to think of this game as the first game of the season. You got to start the season fresh at one and zero. So the Warriors, the Lebanon Warriors, are going to want to come out and play hardball and try to make sure that they can win and secure that home playoff game. While Wynn Woods, they're already in the playoffs. They don't really have to win, but. Any game you can win is another game on the, in the win column. Well, a win definitely secures opportunity to climb the ladder as the Lebanon Warriors have taken the field. And you're taking a look now at the Winton Woods Warriors. It's a battle of the Warriors tonight here in week 10. We're excited to bring it to you here on week 10. Playoffs get underway next Friday, and the postseason brackets will come out tomorrow. So as everyone eager, eagerly awaits to see where they will be going. You can play on your home turf in the first two rounds in Ohio, and then regional semifinals and regional finals will be played at a neutral site. And we'll talk about a lot more as we go on throughout the broadcast because we have two teams that could potentially enter the postseason 10-0. Milford Eagles, 9-0. They are a member of this Eastern Cincinnati Conference. Meanwhile, the Princeton Vikings, another ICRC uh, um, TV uh, community. They are 9-0 tonight playing Sycamore. So we'll check those scores, try to keep an eye on those two schools trying to go a perfect 10-0. Went Woods won the coin toss. They want the football. So Went Woods will, will receive going right to left. Lebanon will go left to right. Now if you remember two weeks ago, Went Woods lost to Milford nine or three to zero a low scoring game the only the only points in the game were a field goal Wynton Woods actually had a field goal that hit off the crossbar that could have potentially tied it instead it hit the crossbar and that that was the final score three nothing Eagles so yeah I was really surprised to see that low of a score with two teams that can really score the ball when I was doing my research uh, so that, that makes me think tonight's game is going to be one great game. Wynton Woods in the white jerseys with blue plant, blue pants. Lebanon in the maroon jerseys with white helmets as we get set to kick off week number 10. Carson Forte will put his right foot into it and away we go. The Battle of the Warriors here in week 10. Taken at the 19 yard line, but it's bobbled and Wynn Woods gets swallowed up. So it'll be first and 10 from the 15 yard line. So right off the bat, it is slippery. It is raining out there. We are uh, have the privilege to be inside. So, And that's one thing you don't want to do is catch that ball or touch that ball and then lose it right off your hands. And with the, with the, uh, the special teams coming in, they had a chance to get that ball and be in really good field position to start this game, but Wynton Woods was able to corral the ball, and now we are getting set for their opening drive. So Chad Murphy will send his offense out on the field. Bryshawn Brown 
in at quarterback, number 10 for Winton Woods. Two receivers to his right, one to the left, and an official's stoppage as they are going to send off number 12. That is Charles Mathis. Not sure why he was he had to go off, and he will be replaced by number 14. Mathis last week four four receptions for 74 yards, one touchdown. So we'll see what we'll see why he was taken off the field for that. But that's Brown will take the snap low, fires and through his intended receiver's hands as he was trying to hook up with Tremar Harris. It'll bring up second down and ten. Just a uh, quick pass there to the to the uh, far field and and Tremar Harris just couldn't couldn't read the ball and couldn't catch it. It looks like number twelve. Uh, Mathis is back in the game. Keep in mind that these two schools are conference opponents, but they are different divisions. Lebanon is a Division I school, while Wenton Woods is a Division II school. We'll talk more about that as we go on through the night. Brown claps his hands, hands off to his running back. The ball's loose on the field. We'll see who comes up with it. I believe Wenton Woods was able to pounce on the football. Charles Johnson, the ball carrier. So a loss on the play. And it's going to bring up third down. And 11, just about 30 seconds into our opening quarter. Wet conditions out there tonight here at James Vandergriff Stadium. Third and 11, Winton Woods has to get to the 32-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Brown going to get it. It spins out of a tackle, fires down the field, and incomplete. Trying to hook up with Mikhail Satterwhite. Lebanon brought the pressure, and they'll force the punt on their opening drive. Forcing a three and out on their first drive is uh, is really is really good, and that's a key to the game. You've got to you got to, the defense has got to step up. Uh, so that that really helps out Lebanon, and they will. Uh, get this ball and re have really good field position as well. Rogers, in punt Rogers Jr. In, Woods. in punt formation for Winton Woods. High snap, still able to get it off. Not a very deep kick. And Winton Woods will let this one roll all the way to the 40. Five, 44 yard line. So great open, great field position as the hometown Warriors will go to work on offense for tonight for the if, very first time. If I'm Lebanon, if I'm Lebanon, I am scoring on this first drive. Like I said, the key, three keys to the game, score early and score often because Wynn Woods, they can put up some points. So Luke Failer in at quarterback for Lebanon is only a sophomore, by the way, so. And now number three is taken out for the Warriors. Not sure if he had something going on with his uniform, but the second player that's had to come out before the plays even started. So first and 10 from the 45-yard line, just about a minute and 15 seconds into our opening quarter. And they're going to go right to the ground game, but nothing doing as they stop him right up the middle, throw him down for a loss, but they're going to spot him back at the line of scrimmage. No gain, second down upcoming. And they've got to find that hole to get through. Uh, and Winton Woods, they, they can they can stockpile the holes and, and not and not get them, not let them come through. Alex Klein's got to find that hole to get through. That was actually Logan Schinner on the carry. 45 yard line, second and six. Man in motion. He'll get set. Back to the ground game. Still nothing doing as he swallowed up at the 45 yard line. A lot of Wentwood's Warriors making the tackle, including number 20, Eric Morris, just one of many. It'll bring up quickly, it'll bring up third down and 10 as we go back to the ground game and take a look. 
this wind would swallow them up right there. Yeah, no gain, and, and, and that's the thing. They're swallowing up before they can even get through, and they're just right there at the line of scrimmage. So no gain. Uh, so I, I believe on this one you got to go in the air. Baylor in the pistol, claps his hands, fires near side, and through the hands of Kyle Cook. And the Lebanon offense will come off the field that quickly. Quick three and out for both teams. Brayshawn, or, uh, Brayshawn Brown 0 for 2 on passes. Luke Failer 0 for 1. Uh, no rushing yards for either team. Cameron Forte in punt formation. Cameron Jackson back deep at about the 10-yard line to receive this punt. Forte booms this one, and Winton Woods will fair catch it at about the 7-yard line. So we'll see Winton Woods go to work on offense for the second time. Winton Woods comes, in comes into tonight 7-2 and two overall. 7-2 and two overall, 7-1. Seven or uh, six and two, excuse me, in the conference. Those two losses coming to Anderson and to Milford, as we just previously talked about. And a, and a blowout win, two blowout wins. Once again, one against Walnut Hills and one against Little Miami, where they almost scored uh, 50 in that first game against Walnut Hills, but they did score 51 against Little Miami. That just credits this Winton Woods defense you talked about in our pregame. Bryson Brown's going to hand it off to his running back. Trying to find a hole, and he jumps out across the 10-yard line, but not before he was taken down on the play by Reed Ayers. He'll bring up second down and six, so a four-yard gain on that first drive play. Just about three minutes into our opening quarter. Satterwhite was able to get find a small hole, but that Lebanon defense right there to, to uh, corral him up and not let him get the first down. Brown firing out to the far side, catches May and avoids a tackle and many more as he skips out across the t uh, near the 30-yard line. So Wynton Woods going to the ground game on their second offensive drive, and this time they pick up the first down. There is an injured player at the 25-yard line. That is number two, Charles Johnson, a senior. We'll take a quick break, come back to Lebanon after this. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. Back at Lebanon High School, Kyle Evans, Logan Dyer, and our entire ICRC crew bringing you Week 10 action. Our first flag of the night. Penalty markers on the play. We'll get a false start on Winton Woods. So we'll back him up to the 20-yard line, so it'll be first down and 15. That'll cost them five yards. It'll be first and 15. Last year, these two teams played. Winton Woods won 44 to 8. So Lebanon trying to change the change the tune of that song here in 2023 as they gear up for the postseason. Mentioned, it, mentioned in our pregame that Winton Woods has already clinched a first round home game as Bryson Brown drops back to pass, fires over the middle, catches May. 
by Tremere Harris and then finally spun down Harris to the ground the by uh, number reception. one. That was Zach Davenport who was able to bring him down. Warriors, Meanwhile, Lebanon five. needs a win From to maintain a home game in the first round of the postseason. Of course, I mentioned earlier you can play in your home turf in the first two rounds. With a loss, they'll go on the road, right? Potentially. Potentially. Depending on what else happens around the league tonight. Second and 10 from the 25. Wynn Woods back to the ground game. Nothing doing. This time Isaiah Garrett tried to turn the corner. He was gobbled up on the play by number four, Isaiah Parlett, who was able to make the tackle. They'll bring up third down. A very fast-moving first quarter, under seven minutes remaining here in our opening quarter. Back to the play. Really good run there by uh, Garrett, and uh, just almost broke free of that uh, of the defense by the, uh, the Warriors from Lebanon, and uh, almost just almost broke free and got through. The Warriors break their huddle. They get to the line of scrimmage. Play clocks at seven. Have to get it off. Down to three. Brown claps his hands. Rolls out to the right. Here comes the pressure. Brown throwing down the field. And the catch was incomplete. In and out of the hands of number four, I believe, for Wenton Woods. There is a flag on the play back at the 23-yard line. Preliminary signal is holding on Wenton Woods. It's going to be holding against the, the Warriors of Wenton Woods. That's two flags them um, so Micah Failure elects to decline it will bring up fourth down and six from the 29 yard line they will punt this ball away another official's timeout Rogers Jr. will punt it away from the 15-yard line. Dom Neal Rogers in punt formation for Winton Woods. Lucas Roddy, I believe, is back deep for Lebanon. Good job. They will down it at the 42-yard line. So a nice, decent punt be a first down for the by Warriors. Rogers first Jr. See what Micah Failer and his offense draw up for their second offensive possession. I mentioned in our pregame that went, uh, Lebanon defeated Walnut Hills last week on the road. I don't know what you want to call that game tonight, but Walnut Hills and Little Miami are playing in the, call, I'm going to call it the Egg Bowl. <laughs> both those teams looking to pick up their first win of the season. They're both 0 9. Yeah, last week. Failer takes the snap. Hands it off to his running back. Actually, Failer keeps it. Fooled me. Went Woods brought the pressure. Failer had to throw Incomplete. it out of bounds. Second down and 10 upcoming. Yeah, last week against uh, down, Walnut 10. Hills, Lebanon, uh, 21 points scored in the first quarter. That's it. That's all they scored. Um, but that's all they needed to score. Uh, 283 total yards, 8 for 17 on passing yards, or on passing rather, for 69 yards, 29 rushing attempts for 214 yards. They did all of their runs. They did all their offense on the ground. Back to the ground game again, nothing doing. Demick, the ball Woods is able to swallow them up. He'll be brought down for a two yard loss. Two yard loss the on the play, so it'll bring up third, third down, down and 12. 12. So it's about seven minutes into our first quarter. Both the teams, both these teams really feeling like the ground game's working, but unless I'm seeing something, some different partner, the ground game's not working hey, tonight. The, the defense is stepping up. I mean, both defenses forcing three and outs by, uh, and, and you know we'll see what happens on this one here. Baylor drops back, rolls out to his left, and trying to hook up with his receiver. That was number 41 on the play. Luke Baylor's pass intended for Edmonds is incomplete. Luke Baylor 0 for 3 on his Luke passes tonight. Uh, has not 
has not reached the target yet. Uh, that's very um, uncharacteristic, you would say, right, of Luke Baylor. So Forte back out to punt again. Charles or Rogers Jr. back deep. This one going to go out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. We'll see, see where the official spot it. They're going to spot it at the 30, make it the 40-yard line. At the 41 -yard line. And she spotted at the 41 to be exact. These are teams that are very close when it comes to points per game scored. Wenton Woods comes in averaging 23.2 point, points per game. Meanwhile, Lebanon comes in averaging 22 points per game even. Can't forget three weeks ago against Loveland, and, and I heard it while I was walking in. Uh, I believe it was Alex, or, uh, Alex Koch, is that right? Cook. Cook. His favorite moment was scoring the touchdown to tie the game to force it to overtime against uh, Loveland three weeks ago. Linton Woods back out on the field. Brown hands it off to his running back who muscles his way, trying to muscle his way for five. Right, Thrown down the on the area. play by number 55. Looks like He'll he got about the ball four. Out the 45 yard line, pick up of four, second down six. Tyler Gooding, the ball carrier on that play. Mentioned his name pregame. Really good, uh, really good running back there. He's got over 500 yards on the season on the ground. <clears throat> Second and six. When Woods trying to get into Warrior territory, that pass deflected when Brown, Brown threw it. So it'll bring up third down and six. Complete. Four and a half to play in our opening quarter scoreless here in this week 10 showdown between Wenton Woods and Lebanon, two members of the Eastern Cincinnati Conference. Rayshon Brown, two for five on his passing attempts tonight. Also very uncharacteristic. Uh, last week, he went 18 for 25 for 244 yards, 25 rushing attempts on the ground, 123 yards. Empty backfield, Brown going to throw it over, screen pass to Isaiah Garrett, and Isaiah, Ga Isaiah Garrett's down the far sideline into Warrior territory. Isaiah so a good Garrett chunk of yards being picked up by number 21 Brown. in white. And this time that'll Gary. move the chains for a Wenton Woods first down. Very good pass towards the, the side the there to, Luke Berberich. to Isaiah and Garrett. Carly he just Smith. keeps motoring down, first down for Woods and uh, able to pick Robinson up the first 40. down and move those chains and they're moving down the field. First and 10 from the 40 yard line as we come up on the four minute mark of the opening quarter. Linton Woods and Lebanon both looking for their first points of the night. Back to, uh, back to Garrett. And Garrett runs right up the middle for a gain of the ball we'll say six, maybe seven on the play. So a good chunk of yards being picked up. Gain of six. With the stop for the Warriors. And bring up second Pick down up and four. Second down four. For Wenton Woods as they look over to their sideline and head coach Chad Murphy. Been around the Wenton Woods coaching staff for a while. Was a coach on Wenton Woods in 2019. Started off as one of the coordinators. And then when Wenton Woods head coach Parker, blanking on his first name, when he went to Princeton, Chad Murphy took over. Back to the ground game again. This time Lebanon stands him up and Good throws him down. Carrier. Swallowed up at the line of scrimmage, though, no gain. Charles Smith basically body wrapped Charlie him and just and pushed Lamb him backwards. And bring up third down and two. As the clock continues to roll. Third down, this is a huge stop here by Lebanon. If they can stop Wynton Woods here and force them to maybe punt the ball, I mean, that's not that bad of a field goal, but it is high school we're talking about. Uh, so uh, another three and out here, or, uh, you know, force them to, to turn the ball over back. And uh, then we got ourselves a, a good. 
They're going to pitch it out, and he gets hammered in the backfield. Number five. Number five, Luke DeMichaels came out of nowhere and put the boom on. Let's look at that replay. Behind the line of scrimmage by Luke DeMichaels. Get a look at the uh, London Warriors student section. It's Neon Knight here in uh, London. Wenton Woods will bring on the punt team. Here's that replay. And just watch, he just comes out of nowhere, bringing the boom for a loss of yards. Dom and that Dom will force Wynton Woods to punt. Gonna get a delay of, delay of game, game called on Wynton Woods. So we'll back him up five yards and we will re-kick, we'll re-punt. Total of 15 yards on penalties for Wynton Woods, nothing for their counterpart, the Warriors of Lebanon. Very high end over end kick that will bounce and be spotted at the 36 yard line. So not a not a not a punt that you would want. I understand that you're trying to keep it out of the end zone, but uh, you, you basically just only gave you only punted the ball, let's say probably 10 yards. And you're still, you, you, they punted it inside the, uh, the uh, line of scrimmage, or, or uh, right inside the where the first down marker was So for their drive. So uh, Lebanon will start at the 36, and we'll see what Luke Baylor can do. First and 10 so Baylor back out the on the, yard line. Baylor and company and the offensive unit back out there. Both teams still feeling each other out here in this scoreless opening quarter. Back to the ground game they go. And Wenton Woods was ready for that. They were ready for that one, a loss of yards there. Wenton Woods, they were, uh, uh, Lebanon was actually trying to, to spark them off, off sides. I saw a couple of Wenton Woods uh, linemen there ready to move. Uh, I wondered if they were gonna actually jump the gun and start moving. But they, they stayed where they were and didn't draw a penalty. Logan Schmeck was the ball carrier that time. Man in motion for Lebanon, that's Bryce Boham. And Boham's gonna catch this one and run out of bounds. He was chased out of bounds by number 13, that is Sasante Stewart Jr. And it'll bring up third down as we are inside the final minute of this very fast moving opening quarter. And as we move later on in the season, you start getting that real Friday night light effect a lot earlier. It's already 720 and it's dark. Yes, and it is it is great. Friday night lights under the lights with a nice dark sky over top. And not and it's not raining. Bowen uh, Bohan in motion again. And this pass count connected. He's find, gonna find the hole and weaves through the Wentwoods defense. That's Lucas Roddy. Bringing it all the way down inside the 25 yard line. And the Warriors pick up, we'll say maybe 30 on that play. A nice, yeah, a nice pickup for the for the Warriors there. And they were and, and Roddy was able to just weave in and out of traffic. And uh, he almost found that hole to, to beat the defenders. Went Woods bringing the pressure as we are closing in on the final seconds of this first quarter. Baylor had to throw that one into the into his own bench. It'll bring up second down and 10 from the 29 yard line. So both teams have moved the ball, but credit the defense still to this point right now in a scoreless game. No score, the defense, both defenses are showing up and uh, we'll see how they can how they can affect each other. Uh, we'll see what Luke, what, uh, Luke Baylor can, can try to do here and uh, see if they can move the, the football down just you know, maybe another 10, 15 yards to be in field goal position. I think Micah Failer and Luke Failer are thinking touchdown right here, father and son coaching combination. Failer had to throw it out to the right and that catch was made 
by number <coughs> that catch was made by number 47 on the play, Logan Schmink. He'll lose yards. He'll lose yards on the play, and it'll bring up third down. And that might be the final play of the first quarter as both teams are going to head to their bench. A loss of five yards there for number 47. So after one, we're scoreless between Lebanon and Winton Woods. You're watching Week 10 action on Week 10 action on ICRC TV. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. Roll over. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover their unique mix of all kinds of traits. Where did Wiley go? Where's Wiley? Ah, there she is. Pa? Do you remember being on a short rule? Do you ever feel the call of the wild? You're a renegade cop, and I'm a con woman with nothing to prove. But together, we could really solve this murder. They're a little bit of a lot of things. But all of them are pure love. Back at James Vandergriff Stadium, getting ready to start the second quarter on this wet, rainy Week 10 Friday night. You know, I, I did say previously that it was not raining, and now third it's raining. Third and 15 <laughs> as we start the second quarter. First, third and 15. Uh -oh. Ball gets away from Failer, and he has to dive on it back in Winton Woods territory. About the 48. So the, the punt unit will Recover very quickly come out. Failure. Micah Failure not happy about down, how that play went back to the miscue. A huge loss there of yards. Just uh, the low snap went through his, went through his uh, fingers and, and, and rolled all the way back to the 48. Now we're going to see another punt. And it's raining out there, so yeah, yeah, factor that in as well. Now it's raining. Carson Forte will get set to kick it away. Two men back deep for Wenton Woods, a nice line drive kick that will go inside the 15 and roll out around, we'll say the 13 the yard line. See where the official spotted. Seen a lot of line. low snaps. Uh, a lot of low snaps on these punts here. As you can see there, you had to corral it down the bottom. Uh, and, and so you couldn't really get the, 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 the height that you wanted or the quicker kick. I mean, in that case, you've got to really try to get the ball off as quick as possible so you don't get tackled, and then the ball ends up in, uh, in, in their own territory. And there's a look at the Wynton Woods High School Band. They made the uh, trip down the whole ring, from around the whole ring. Around. So the Warriors offense will take over. Spot the ball at the 13-yard line. Bryson, Bryson Brown drops back to pass, and he throws it deep down the field, but nobody home. Brown Completely pass. overthrew uh, Mikhail Satterwhite. I wonder if Mikhail Satterwhite was meant to run that route and didn't run, uh, didn't run the right route. That actually ends up putting uh, a, you know, a missed reception on Brown. Just another miscue for uh, Wynton Woods, just as the miscues for Lebanon. Second down, 10. Brown on the pistol. Two receivers to his right, and the flag flies. Dead ball foul. Ball start. On the offense, five-yard penalty, replay, second down. Another flag on Winton Woods. That's their First fourth flag for, now for 20 yards. That was a dead ball foul. It was a five-yard penalty. Backs them up to the seven, or eight, rather, sorry. It's 
Second and 15 from the nine. Brown throws it over the middle. Intercepted! Number 36 is going to take it to the house for the pick six. Charles Smith and the confetti. The confetti reigns as that, that's a pick six touchdown by Charles, Charles Smith. And I believe he had one interception last week for 26 yards and was able to take this one to the house. Really good read on, uh, on Brown's pass and was able to take it into the house. Carson Forte on to attack, attempt the point after Forte touchdown. On for the point after try for Lebanon. Try to make this a 7 nothing Lebanon lead. Kick is on the Probably way. It is good. Down. There is a flag at the five yard line. Wenton Woods had a defender running on late. Dead ball foul. Encroachment on the defense. Only tackle this. Replay the try. So they'll re kick. So Forte will set it up a couple more yards. As you heard from the official, we will retry the point after. Again, Forte set to kick. Second attempt. And the result is the same. Forte is now 20 of 22 on extra points in 2023 as we go back to the touchdown. Another look at this touchdown here. Just a, a great read by uh, Charlie Smith, and he's able to take it to the house. Uh, and that, that pass was intended for, I believe. Couldn't really see who it was intended for, but nonetheless, another interception, two weeks in a row for Mr. Smith, and he's able to take this one to the house. So he celebrates on the sideline. It is senior night tonight. There's nothing to... These seniors would like no one out. Finishing the season with a win. Charlie Smith is a senior. So Wenton Woods will recollect their nerves after the pick thrown by Brown. Previously mentioned before the game, though, Lebanon's got to score early and score often. There's their score early. Now they can't score off. Set to kick off for Lebanon. Line drive kick that it will go through the defender's hands and into the end zone for a touchback. The high school level, it's an automatic touchback once the ball rolls into the end zone. You cannot bring it out. So they'll bring it out to the 20 yard line. That's where Bryson Brown and company will. That'll be a touchback. We'll go to work. Other games going on tonight in the ECC. Anderson 8-1 and one at Kings 5-4. and four. Of course, our, our game went Walnut Hills at Little Miami. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. Turpin 3-6 and six, taking on undefeated Milford. And Loveland 5-4 and four at West Claremont 3-6. and six. We'll Another. see if I can get some updates on those uh, games there. Milford and Turpin Hills. Milford and Turpin. First and 10 from the 20, so Chad Murphy's offensive unit back out on the field. Trailing 7-0 on the road. Wenton Woods, by the way, is 3-1 on the road this year as they go back to the ground game. And he gets run out of bounds by, I believe that was number 11. Driven out of bounds by Luke DeMichael. Luke DeMichael was able to chase him out. It'll be a two-yard loss on that carry. Second, Second down, down and 12 for Wenton Woods. Uh, per the Milford, uh, Milford Eagles Athletics Twitter, 7-0 to zero over uh, Turpin at the end of one. That was seven minutes ago. Eagles had some members from the 1957 team tonight. There was 15 of them honoring them. That was the last Milford team to go 9-0. Not sure if the Eagles went 10-0 that year. Other officials... We have timeout. We're going to get a timeout called by Wenton Woods. So the Warriors will take their first timeout. 10.46 left to play in our opening half. 
Kai Levins, Logan Dyer, and our terrific ICRC crew braving the elements. Not only tonight, but all season long. As you take a look at Chad Murphy and the Winton Woods offense talking things over, trailing by seven. This is a Winton Woods team partner that they won state two years ago, 2021. So the expectations are not only to win tonight, as you take a look at the Lebanon uh, offensive unit on the sideline, but not only to win tonight, but a deep run into the postseason. And, of course, Winton Woods hasn't been a member of the Eastern Cincinnati Conference that long. They were an independent school for quite a while, but dating back to 2021. So just three years ago, um, from 2021 up until now, they have made it three rounds into the tournament. So high expectations. Brown going to spin away from a tackle, throws it over the middle, and almost intercepted. This time it was number 24, Jake Seiko, who almost got his hands on it. It'll bring up third down and 12. Yeah, he almost had that. It was uh, a good read by uh, Seiko, and he just he Brown's just pass. it just popped right out of his hands. Intended for Waters was incomplete. It's so third, third down 12, 12 from the 18-yard line. Clint Woods has to get to the 20 to the 21 yard line to pick up the first down. You mean the 31, sorry. Correct. <coughs> Looking at the wrong stick. That's okay. <laughs> Brown, pressure coming. Brown has to avoid the pocket and the catch is made. And very close to, to the first Trey down Harris. marker. We'll see if the officials give it to him. He is right at the line to gain. We'll see he is right at the line not. to gain. So we'll see what it the officials say. Down. And they are going to say fourth, fourth down. down so we'll see if Wenton Woods elects to go for it. That was Tremier Harris that made the catch. And then he was shoved out of bounds on the play by Zach Davenport. So fourth and inches. Wenton Woods thought about it. Chad Murphy elects to bring on the punting unit. Which in a game like this, Logan, with only being 7 nothing, just early stages of the second quarter, I like the call. And now we're going to get another flag. flag on the play. Wait to see what the flag's for. Please reset the play clock. Thank you. Just to reset the play clock, according to official to our official out there. By the way, he is mic'd up tonight and making the calls. I like that. I thought it was the PA announcer next to us <laughs> that was kind of mimicking him, but he is mic'd up and ready to go. This punt is shanked and will go out of bounds. The Winwood punt will go out of bounds. Around the 40-yard line. So the tale of two stories. Both teams having issue with issues with the ball when they punt the ball, but I've seen more issues out of Wynn Woods because we'll be now they're the giving up really good field position to Lebanon. And we, I mean, obviously they can score the ball. We'll see what happens uh, with Luke Bay with Luke Baylor. Uh, see if he can get the ball into the end zone this time and uh, take this one out into uh, out of the second quarter into halftime. First and 10 from the 41 yard line. Two receivers to his right, one to the left. Man in motion, Failer fires over the middle and the catch is complete. Hanging on was number 16 for Micah Failer squad. Jacob Stream makes the catch. Tackle by number 20 for Eric Winton Morris Woods. With the tackle for Winton number Woods. 20, Eric Pick Morris bringing one. him down to bring up second and one. So about two minutes gone by here in our second quarter from James Vandergriff Stadium on the campus of Lebanon Junior High School. Back to the ground game they go. Tried to find a hole on that right side. They found a little bit. Make they the didn't find area. too much. Still didn't pick up the first down. They're one. They're they're a yard no short. On the play. No be game. Third and one. So it's third and one, and a huge stop right here for Chad Murphy's defense. Let's see what Micah Failer and his coaching staff elect to do. Play clock is down to 16.
They're going to run it right up the middle. I don't think he got it. Wenton Woods was able to Once again, punch him back at the line of scrimmage. And he'll be dropped down for a loss on they the They corralled play. him at the line of scrimmage. Actually, a, 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 a loss of yards Ball there. Just inside the uh, so yard that'll line. bring up fourth and five. And we'll see what uh, Lebanon decides to do here, whether they'll punt it away or kick the field goal. Well, the offense is still out on the field. Play clock. Luke Fahler is on the field. Winding down, so they're going to elect to go for it. It's third down and four. They got to get to the 38-yard line or the 28-yard line. Fahler drops back, and he's hitting the backfield. Loose ball. Winton Woods picks it up, and the officials are going to say incomplete. The pass, it was a forward pass. And Wood will take over on down. And the Warriors, visiting Warriors, will After take over on down, down after they elected to go for it. That's a tough call. Thaler comes off grabbing his hand. Not sure if he was hurt on the play or if he's just frustrated. So the visiting Warriors will take over on downs at the, looks to be 34 yard line. First and 10 from the 34. See if Wynn Woods can capitalize off the turnover. Bryson Brown back out there to work. The sophomore quarterback Two sophomore quarterbacks tonight. Brown's going to throw it out to the right side. And Lebanon all over it. Nice tackle made on the play by this time again by Charles Smith. And all over Charles Johnson for a gain of one. It'll be a pickup of only a yard out to the 35. Second down, nine. Second and one upcoming. Back to our earlier point about these Wynton Woods Warriors. Uh, they, they, you know, the expectations, you said, uh, for three years they've made the playoffs, they've made it deep. Brown, pocket collapsing, still has it, throws it down the field and overshot his intended receiver. That was number 18, Vance George, the intended target. Third down and nine upcoming. Wenton Woods just can't get their offense clicking here in the first half. Just a uh, that was a, a, a huge throw with the pocket with the pocket collapsing, uh, and uh, just uh, trying to air it downfield to see if they can get something started, some big gain or a first down rather, or even a touchdown, uh, and it just sailed right over the head of, uh, of Vance George, the 6'3", 200 pound, 220 pound junior or senior rather yeah, got another flag Wynton on the play looks like they got a timeout Wynton Woods. actually went woods is going to take their second timeout so went woods has one timeout left lebanon has all three lebanon band getting into it Now the Wenton Woods band is joining in. So the Joe Idle standings as we go into tonight, Wenton Woods is currently sitting fifth. They have clinched a top, they have clinched the top, the top eight seeds, get to host a home playoff game. With a win, says they could be as high as one to five with a loss as low as four to six. So they're currently sitting fifth. The team behind them is Harrison, the Harrison Wildcats, who are six and three. So Wenton Woods, as you mentioned, as we mentioned in our pregame, has already clinched that first round game, but with the win could get a higher seed. Even higher. Third and nine. Brown drops back, pressure coming, throws, and broken up and flags fly. 
That's going to be a pass interference on uh, the Warriors of Lebanon. Bryce Boham put his hands on the intended receiver. The officials immediately, immediately threw the flag. That'll be a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. He was right behind him and corralled the uh, the uh, tried to corral the ball rather and uh, not able to try to sell it to where it wasn't pass interference, but it ends up being a 15-yard penalty against the Warriors of Lebanon. That is only their first penalty of the game and for about for 15 yards, whereas Wynn Woods is four for 20. Wynn Woods trying to move into Lebanon territory. Back to the ground game. Charles Jones trying to turn the corner. Another flag flies in from the backfield. Penalty marker on the play. Looks like it'll be against Lebanon. They're waiting for the call. Personal foul, illegal blindside block, number 12. Well, that's on the against offense. Wynton Woods. 15-yard penalty. Another 15-yard penalty for, the, for the Warriors of Wynton Woods. So just that as Wynton Woods was right on the doorstep of getting into, getting into Lebanon territory, the penalty will back them all the way up to the 35-yard line. Clock continues to roll under seven minutes left to play on our first half. Kyle Evans, Logan Dyer. Dean Lowry, our entire ICRC crew will get to the names of all the camera operators and people working the truck later on. This pass caught by Tremar, uh, Tremar Harris and then taken down on the play. Harris, the receiver. Number 11 on the tackle. That yeah. was Quentin Wagers, Waggers on the tackle. Along with number four, number four. Three, 36, Isaiah Parlett, Charles Smith. Everyone getting in on that play. Everybody. Second and 19. Ball at the 41 yard line. They have Got to, to get to the 40. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that from you. Brown claps his hands, stutter steps, and he's taken down the backfield. Andy Roars was able to get to the sophomore quarterback and wrap up his legs. Huge, huge play there. Brings up a long third down. And I, I mentioned in my notes that last week, maybe I didn't mention it right. The third down and 27. See what Chad Murphy dials up on third and a mile. Play clock's down to two. Brown steps through the pocket, throws it down the field, and incomplete. No flags. Brown's pass is incomplete. Floated out there to about the When Woods was looking line. for a pass It'll interference, but no flag. Brings up fourth down and long and about a country mile. And uh, this Lebanon defense really stood up and helped, and it helped with that with the uh, penalty marker to push them back even further. And now they get the ball back to try to score again to make this a two-score game. Lucas Roddy back deep for Lebanon at about the 30-yard line. See if Wynton Woods can get a nice punt off. This one will die around midfield yet again. We'll see where the officials spot it. It'll be into Lebanon territory, or Wynton Woods territory, I should say. Yard line. It'll be first and 10 well, I was gonna say the 46, but 42 sounds good too, I guess. <laughs> Warriors are three and two at home this year. Top eight teams host a first round playoff game. Regular season ends tomorrow, actually, and then the postseason bracket will be released on Sunday, the 22nd. Opening the round of the postseason for football 
will begin a week from tonight, October 27th. So it's only, only going to be colder as we dip into the postseason. They'll play the first four rounds of the tournament before Thanksgiving arrives and then state Stay finals the over the middle will be played Cook is at It'll Tom be Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. So Luke Failer on the offense back out on the field. So a score update. As Wenton Woods goes to the ground game, flag flies hard hit at the 40-yard line. Down from two sides of the play. Schmink, the ball carrier. Number 47, that's He's Logan right now Sch Schmeck. Down to 39. A huge hit on the end of that play. Holding gonna go on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Holding replay. against Lebanon. Second gonna end. go against the home team Warriors. But a hard hit at the, the end. Ten yard march off takes the ball back to the forty eight yard line. Number twenty five on the tackle. Where it's second down. That and is point. Isaiah Davison. Or Dawson, sorry. Score update, Princeton is up twenty one to zero, or could be more, I think. It's I think it's actually gonna be twenty uh, 27 to 0, or 28 to 0, rather, against. Baylor takes the snap, throws it down the sideline, and incomplete, trying to connect with Kyle Cook. The Warrior pass play intended for Kyle Cook is incomplete. It's third down and 20. Eric Morris was in the vicinity as well as Deonta Stewart Jr. and. Dominell Rogers Jr., all three in the vicinity. Uh, and I, I, I mentioned that at home this morning when I was going over a couple of my notes. Kyle Cook has got to be either double teamed or triple teamed because he's he's one of the best receivers they got. Warriors bring the pressure and almost got the interception. That was number 99 on the play for Wenton Woods. Got to go to my third page, Delane Massey-Wright, who almost comes up with the interception. Take a look at it one more time. Yeah, just a, a, a small read there. And, and Luke Failer was, I don't know who he was who he was trying to target, but uh, number 99 comes in, and uh, the big guy almost picks it up. So Wenton Woods will get the football back. Carson Forte, a nice spiraling punt that will go out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. So Wynn Woods will have to start start deep in their own territory. Still four and a half minutes left. They do only have that one timeout in their back pocket. Keep in mind, Lebanon gets the football to start the second half. Really good punt there and it just, like Kyle, like Kyle said, ends up right inside the 10 yard line in between the 10 and the end zone. And Wynn Woods got to start all the way back. And 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 but they can they can move the ball, but we'll see. Early on tonight, moving the ball has been an issue on both sides of the football. Back to Kyle Cook. We'll talk about it after this play. Not only is he one of the weapons to stop, he has eight touchdowns on the season. Ground game just not working for Wynn Woods. As number six, six was able to wrap him up on the play. That was Luke Berber Berberich. No gain on the play, second and 10 upcoming. That was number nine, Landon Anderson on the carry. Freshon Brown having to regroup the troops in the huddle. They'll break the huddle. Everyone will clap. It's the sophomore quarterback, both Brown and Failer. So they got many more years. Went Woods to the ground game, and they're going to spin out across the 15 yard line. Clock continues Andrew to roll. Three and a half left in our first Andrew half. Kyle down, Evans, Logan Dyer, and our entire ICRC crew from James Vandergrift Stadium. As you see, That's number nine, 
Robinson. making that run for It'll Wenton Woods. For Landon Wenton Woods. Uh, Anderson, a junior. 5'10", 195 pound junior. Brings up third and four. Marching band getting ready to perform at halftime. Looks like the Wenton Woods marching band is going to perform. Brown has to get rid of a pocket collapses and Intended target was number 18 on the play. That was Vance George. Couldn't hang on to the football. Fourth down upcoming. Another three and out forced by Lebanon. This is the game that Lebanon wanted to play. However, like I said earlier, they had to score the ball. They've only scored once, but it's working right now because the defense is still forcing them out three and outs uh, and not letting Wynton Woods get into their own territory except for about two times. However, that first, the second time, they got backed up because of a personal foul flag. They got backed up 15 yards. Demel Rogers Jr. will have to get it away quickly, and he does. Nice spiral kick. That will be down at exactly at the 40 yard, 40 yard line. So two really good punts there uh, from both teams. Two really good punts, first from Lebanon to, to mark them back into in between the 10 and the end zone. And then from Wynton Woods to bring it almost all the way back to midfield, all the way from the end zone. Uh, so looks like the uh, punting units are getting a little bit more of a workout than they normally would. I don't think it's raining as hard right now. Can't see the lights, can't see if it's raining through the lights or not. Back to Kyle Cook after this First play, of course. Lebanon from the Wood 40. So Thaler and the offense back out there. Takes the snap, fires down the side, catches May, tries to avoid a tackler, avoids one, spins away from two. Nice, uh, nice play by number 22. That's Lucas Roddy. We called his number a couple of times tonight. A good good uh, offensive play and moves uh, Lebanon near the red zone. And he moves the chains to first down. The officials have it spotted and at the 16 yard Spotted line. at the 16, so that was plus, I'd say uh, 10, 15, 10, tw 20, 24 yard gain on the pickup there. Lebanon hoping to keep this drive moving. Back to the ground game again. Taken Make down around the 10 yard line. Probably a gain Into of the four. Thirteen yard line. Gain of three. Second down, seven. They'll bring up second and seven. About two minutes remaining here in our second quarter. With the home team on top, just by a score of seven to nothing. The home Warriors are knocking on the end zone door. Let's see if they can get in. Taylor lines up. We have an injury timeout. Injury timeout. So an injury timeout for Wenton Woods allows Failure and company to basically get a free timeout out of this we'll with 154 remaining. Will lead us off, and then we'll be followed up by the Lebanon Marching Warriors. So I'm attempting to see if it's raining. It does not look like it is. Micah Failer and Luke Failer, coach and son. Be a good time we could talk about Kyle Cook. You said eight touchdowns. Yeah, eight touchdowns on the season. You mentioned earlier, just you have to slow him down. Lebanon just has a lot of offensive weapons, on not just Cook. Alex Klein. Failer, throwing near side, catches me, has one tackler to avoid. And he's down inside the five. That was number 18, Jason Sams. As you can see, Lebanon cheerleaders getting into it on senior night. It is first and goal. Here's the replay. For the Warriors. Failure looking. He looked right. He looked left and got to got to got his man there, and he only had one man to beat. We'll see what they can do here. So first and goal also from the, the five. Just now entered the zone four red zone. 
That puts the ball into the red zone. Low snap to failure. We're going to hand it off to the running back. And we'll Wentwood Wood him. swallows him up. That was T.J. Buck Buckman who came right off the line to wrestle Thanks into the ground. Player. Second and goal upcoming. And an official's timeout for another injury. And we will step aside. Back to Lebanon in, back in a moment. The nine yard line. your house a reality. Homeschooling yourself on loans, color coding listings, and flushing every toilet in a 20 mile radius. If you can ace house hunting, you can do it for retirement. Get on track with tips at aceyourretirement.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in girl. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Coffee first, then I have to get those agendas out. Lasagna tonight, chicken tomorrow. Do we still have potatoes? Matthew's got a baseball practice at six. I should really do laundry tonight. People with jobs, with families, with some place to be. Let's help each other by safely sharing the road. Tri-State Trails, connecting what moves us. They're going to put 35 seconds. 45 seconds. 45 seconds on the play on the game clock. <laughs> it should start on the snap. It starts it, on the whistle. It'll start on the whistle. So Brown in the shotgun, rolling out to his right. Nowhere to go, throws it away. 34 That's seconds left. That's a key. You can either throw it away, throw it out of bounds, or find the way to get to the out of bounds there to, to the sideline and get out of bounds to stop the clock. Or they still have, like you said, they have that one timeout left in their back pocket. I think you want to save that when you're down further in the red zone for a potential field goal opportunity. I don't think you have enough time in high school football to get down to the end zone. Of course, the clock does stop momentarily for first downs. You'd have to have your uh, offense right up on the line of scrimmage ready to go. Correct. 34 to play in the half. Brown takes a low snap, pocket collapses. Brown fires near sideline and one hops his receiver. Trying to connect with Tremar, uh, Tremar Harris, who made the previous catch that got Wynn Woods where they are right now. Third down and 10 upcoming with 29 seconds to play until halftime. Tremar Harris had a really good week last week. So Chad Murphy and his offensive unit will huddle up. Jamar Harris last week, eight catch, eight receptions for 116 yards, one touchdown. 30 seconds left in the first half. Here comes the Lebanon defense. They're going to bring the pressure. Brown over the middle, incomplete. Trying to hook up with Mikhail Satterwhite. And it'll bring up fourth down and 10. It'll be fourth down and 10. And it looks like they're going to punt it away. Brown is already on the Wintonwood sideline, so they will bring in the punt unit. 
See if Wenton Woods can pin Lebanon deep before halftime. We have timeout. And Wenton now the Warriors, Warriors will burn their timeout final ahead. timeout to maybe if, think about some trickery. I wonder if they're going to set it up. I wonder if they're going to set up a uh, fourth down, uh, either a fourth down attempt with Rayshon Brown or a fourth down fake on the punt and try to try to draw try to draw that 10 yards back to try to get uh, try to get back to that first down. Winwood's band enjoying the music dancing around here at halftime We're over here on our on our right. And the Lebanon marching warriors both of those marching bands will be performing at halftime here at James Vandergriff Stadium. First up will be the Winton Woods Warriors and then followed by the Lebanon Warriors. And they will perform one after another. So Chad Murphy brings the offensive unit back out onto the field. Bryshawn Brown, the sophomore quarterback, is out there. They have to get to the... Very gutsy play here by uh, Winton Woods. Brown dropping back, pocket collapses. Again, fires over the middle, nobody home. Trying to hook up with number five, Jamar Harris. Ball didn't even get there. Warriors will take over with 19 seconds left and all three timeouts in their back pocket. But the only thing that's going through my right, mind right now, partner, and I know that there's still a lot of football to be played and, and Winton Woods has struggled to move the ball offensively. Could this score factor in later down the line I've seen I've done one other game where a blocked extra point was factored into the final score yes that that can that can actually be uh, that can be a reality that extra point that was blocked could eventually turn around and bite you in the they back as that'll be the end of our first half. they take a knee that'll be that the end of the first half let you take it away so 24 minutes completed here at James Vandergrift Stadium. We still have 24 minutes of action coming your way. Halftime in this Week 10 Eastern Cincinnati Conference Showdown. It's the Winton Woods Warriors 0 and the Lebanon Warriors 10. Logan and I will take a break. As we come back, it's 13-0. Lebanon on top. Charles Smith got the scoring started. And then number 22. Luke Roddy able and to find This is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. There's no better feeling than to be a part of a fire department. This is a family. Police officer, it's, it's a great job. It really is. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, you never know who you're going to help. We're forgetting what's going on outside. We're focusing on what's going on in here. And we're all family. This idea of a family academy, connecting families to talk about relevant issues. Unbelievable. Milford has stormed all the way back in this football game. And it's up to every one of you all to keep this going and carry the torch. I hope you will do that. Thank you. ICRC TV.
a great day when ICRC is involved. Another edition of ICRC bringing the community to you. item on our agenda is item number five opening session I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening if you're out here at the parade or listening thank you again into the end zone and that is caught by Jaden Wood come on now how we doing y'all feeling all right out there hello and welcome to this edition of this is Glendale I'm Beth Chorus hey guys this is Dino Armstrong from one long party I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and of course, you can always go to icrctv.com. Always a great day when ICRC is involved. Another edition of ICRC bringing the community to you.
Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We have this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover their unique mix of all kinds of traits. Where did Wiley go? Where's Wiley? Ah, oh, there she is. Pa? Do you remember being on Ancient Wolf? Do you ever feel the call of the wild? You're a renegade cop, and I'm a con woman with nothing to prove. But together, we could really solve this murder. They're a little bit of a lot of things. But all of them are pure love. your house a reality. Homeschooling yourself on loans, color coding listings, and flushing every toilet in a 20 mile radius. If you can ace house hunting, you can do it for retirement. Get on track with tips at aceyourretirement.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in girl. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Coffee first, then I have to get those agendas out. Lasagna tonight, chicken tomorrow. Do we still have potatoes? Matthew's got a baseball practice at six. I should really do laundry tonight. People with jobs, with families, with some place to be. Let's help each other by safely sharing the road. Tri-State Trails, connecting what moves us. as the backyard. Oh, you think I should light it now? Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, someone is about to burn a pile of debris that's too tall, which can start a wildfire. Wait, could it be? Blimey, oh, it is. It's Smokey. It's Smokey Bear. What a legend. Hey, it's Smokey. Sorry, it was too high. Right. Watch as he astutely ensures that there's no wind and how he removes some of the debris to create a smaller, safer burning pile. No, you can't make it bigger, baby. The bigger, the better. Take note right. of our fearless furry friend here, right. humans. I appreciate it. Response. 
<laughs> Smokey's done it again. Bye, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Online. This is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. There's no better feeling than to be a part of a fire department. This is a family. Police officer, it's, it's a great job. It really is. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, you never know who you're going to help. We're forgetting what's going on outside. We're focusing on what's going on in here. And we're all family. This idea of a family academy, connecting families to talk about relevant issues. Unbelievable. Milford has stormed all the way back in this football game. The Warriors win the state finals! State finals! Ohio Wesleyan, here we go! And it's up to every one of you all to keep this going and carry the torch. I hope you will do that. So thank you. ICRC TV. It's a great day when ICRC is involved. Another edition of ICRC bringing the community to you. So that leaves us with the next item on our agenda is item number five, opening session. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. If you're out here at the parade or listening, thank you again. Into the end zone and that is Hello and welcome to this edition of This is Glendale. I'm Bet Chorus. Hey guys, this is the Uniform Crew from Little Long Park. We just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, you can always go to icrctv.com. Always a great day when ICRC is involved. Another edition of ICRC bringing the community to you.
Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We have this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. Back at Lebanon High School as we are getting set to start the second half of action between Wenton Woods and Lebanon Kyle Evans along with broadcast partner Logan Dyer. This is an exciting first half of football uh, with Lebanon on top 13 to nothing. Um, your takeaways from the first 24 right, minutes. Uh, the defense has really stepped and played well. Uh, Wenton Woods gave up 13 points. However, uh, Lebanon is really playing really good defense, not allowing Wenton Woods to get anywhere near the red zone. Uh, and uh, a couple flags went towards Wenton Woods that you know, deterred that situation. But my biggest takeaway is the blocked field goal. That might come, or the blocked extra point, rather, sorry. That might come into play here as we get closer into those 20 to the late 24 minutes, around the 22 minute mark of the rest of this game. You talked about the defense for Lebanon, uh, an interception by Charles Smith got the scoring going. So I think Lebanon's, they're clicking offensively, you know, on offense and defense. So if you're Wenton Woods, What's that missing piece, or what do you think Chad Murphy talked about in that locker room to, to try to get the offense going? Because I think the, the Winton Woods defense is playing great. Yeah, they are. They're playing really great. The offense has got to get the ball moving down the field and in the direction of the end zone. They cannot go backwards. No flags, no loss of yardage. But they've also got to try to keep the ball in the air because the defense is swallowing them up on the ground. But you also have to think, Charles Smith is out there somewhere, right? That's two interceptions in the past two weeks. One for a touchdown. Last week he intercepted one and ran it back 29 yards. Warriors will kick it away to the Warriors and we're underway in the second half from James Vandergrift Stadium. They're gonna run it out to about the 20 yard line. So we'll see the Lebanon offense for the first time here in the second half. Lebanon five and three in the conference, six and three overall. I think a seven and three campaign would be very good. Of course, last year lost in the first round of the postseason to the to the Lakota West, who was tied with Hamilton at halftime, uh, seven to seven between them and the Big Blue. But uh, for me, being uh, you know growing up here and knowing these conferences, and you're starting to learn them a lot too. But uh, Credit Hamilton, man. I mean, Hamilton had a real turnaround season this year. Um, the Big Blue could potentially be as high as number three when the postseason gets underway. So we'll see how it all shapes out. They're going to go to the ground game and going to get sacked in the back in the backfield. Number eight. Let's see who was on the tackle there. I believe it was. Loss of five on the play, second down, 15. Five yard loss, he'll bring up second and 15. Didn't catch who made the tackle, Thaler. Uh, 25 was in there. Thaler dropping, has to fire it quickly. Fires to the far side, catches made, tackle made immediately on the play. By Demolio, uh, Demon, Donamel Rogers Jr. rather, sorry. So it'll bring up third down. Wenton Woods trying to get this offense off the field in a hurry. Brings up third down and 14. Lebanon has to get to the 32-yard line. 
Baylor snaps it, hands it off, running back, and he's going nowhere. Tackle made on the play this time. It was number 25 coming in and wrapping him up. That was Isaiah Dawson, the 6 175-pound wide receiver. But this time on the defensive side of things, making the tackle, and Winton Woods gets the stop that they wanted. Now they'll get the football back. Winton Woods getting the stop that they wanted right out of the gate to get the football back to start their third quarter drive. Uh, we'll see what the coach has uh, decided to draw up as we've got some flags on the field. It'll be a false start on Lebanon, so back him up five yards. It'll be fourth down and 22, 23. It's about two minutes into our third quarter. And another flag. No flag on the field, but the official the blew his whistle. So an official's timeout. And number 33 will have to Official trot timeout. off the field. That's Tyler Cox. And we'll try this again. Forte this time at his goal line. Two Winton Woods players back deep at the Lebanon 45-yard line. High snap to Forte. Pressure coming. Forte gets it away. And will take a bounce. And will be down at the 48. So we will see the Winton Woods offense for the first time here in the second half. Bryshon, Bryshon, Bryshon Brown and company will come back out onto the field, trailing by 13. And for this offense, we've got to see if, if the Winwoods Warriors want to get back in this game. They've got to start driving the ball towards the end zone and not going backwards. They want to go forward, not backwards. So we'll see what uh, what Winwoods has done to uh, prepare their offense as they come out for their first drive of the third quarter, second half. Line of scrimmage is the 48-yard line. Brown on the pistol. Hands it off, going nowhere. Wrapping him up on the play was number 66. That was Tanner Smith who grabbed him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up second and 11. Actually dropped him for a yard, second and 11. And Winton Woods will try to regroup offensively. But like I said, they're going backwards now. They need to go forward. Uh, they don't need – they. they <laughs> Got it. I, 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 I really want to see Brown go, go in the air for this play uh, and try to get something down the field, uh, but not necessarily something too long. Brown's going to drop back, fires over the middle, and through the hands Brown of Van George. Von George, excuse me. Vance George. He was there. Yeah, the, the, the ball just went straight through his hands. Third and 11. So you've got to you got to pass on this play. Uh, I mean, you could you could run, but you're not. The probability of, of getting 11 yards uh, is not too high. So I, I expect to see a pass play here on uh, third and 11. Brown fires. Ball was deflected at the line of scrimmage. It was still caught by Winton Woods, and he spun out of bounds. He's going to be about a yard or two shy of the first down marker. See if Chad Murphy wants to be aggressive early in this third quarter and potentially go for this, trailing by two scores. Looks like they're going to go. F I think it's coming off the field. Nope. They're going for it. The offense remains on the field. They may try to, to pull them off sides. Fourth and one. Offense out there. See what happens. Lebanon's been very disciplined tonight. They're going to go to the ground game, and I don't think he got it. Nope. No signal yet by the officials. Lebanon is celebrating, and it is going to be Lebanon football. So a gutsy, a gutsy play there on fourth and one. Uh, and Wynn Woods was not able to pick that up. And they turned the ball over on downs. 
and they give the ball back to Lebanon, or Le Lebanon ra rather, excuse me, uh, and they have got to come out. The, the Wynwood's defense that they want to stay in this game have got to come out and, and, and do exactly what they've done all season, all night long. Here's the replay. Uh, and and, and uh, Landon, a Landon Anderson just, just couldn't find the hole and didn't go anywhere and got tackled right there at the line of scrimmage. So turnover on downs, ball spotted at the 43. Baylor's going to let this one fly over the hands of his intended target, Kyle Cook. He's up second down and 10, had him wide open, wide open. down I mean, the field. He was going to be gone. If Kyle Cook would have caught that, that would have been number nine on the season. Tried to give Kyle Cook his ninth touchdown earlier <laughs> back in the second quarter. <laughs> yeah, you tried. Instead, it was number 22. It was number 22 for Micah Failure squad, Lucas Roddy. Called his name a couple times tonight. Second and 10, under nine minutes to play, third quarter. Right to the chest of Failure. He hands it off, and he's going to be dropped in the backfield. Number 25 was able to get there and wrap him up on the play. That was Isaiah D uh, Dawson. And it's going to be a loss of three and third down and 14 upcoming. And we just talked about this right off the open here in the third quarter, Logan. The, the Wentwoods defense has been, both teams' defense is great tonight. The Wentwoods offense just, they can't get it going. They can't get, they can't get it going, and that's the problem. And uh, it's not even raining at this point, no, so weather's not, not a factor. Nope. It's cold, but it's not raining. Third and 13. Failures sends his man in motion. Pressure coming. Rolls out to his right. Throws down the field. And no one home. Pass was intended for Kyle Cook. However, he was tied up with number 13. Sonoda Stewart Jr. Uh, and uh, couldn't get free from Jr. there. So the Wynwoods defense does it again. They force Lebanon to punt. Can the offense get started and move down the field? Nice punt. Taking it about the 25. He's got space, bounces off a defender, and will take it to around the 45-yard line. So Dominell Rogers Jr. with about a 15-yard punt return sets up. Went Woods in good field position. And I think at this point, if you're Wenton Woods, you need a spark. You talked about it earlier. I would like to see them go through. Uh, Wenton Woods start to throw it through the air. They have, but the, the, passes, the passes haven't been on target. They're not getting complete. There is, there's been a couple instances where there wasn't anybody home. There was one instance where it was just overthrown, simply overthrown. Uh, so he, he, he you know, overthrew his man. We'll see what he does here. Brown drops back, throws down the field, has a man wide open at the 30, spins away from the tackler. He's at the 20, and he's at the 10 and taken down at the 10-yard line. So Went Woods gets an explosive bolt of uh, offense by uh, Mikhail Satterwhite, and the Warriors of Went Woods are into the red zone. Take a look at the replay. Satterwhite is right there, easy pass. Coming in, now he cut back inside, and he's coming down the middle, and then he gets wrapped up there by number four for uh, Lebanon, Isaiah Parrots. Partel. And he was able to uh, stop him. He was the last line of defense. If he would have passed Isaiah, he would have been in the house. Brown trying to throw a little screen pass. Couldn't connect. Second down and 10 upcoming as Brown was dropped in the backfield. You see the Lebanon defense really locked down right here. First time Wenton Woods has been in the red zone all night. This is the first time they've been down here all night long. So we'll see what they can do, if they can punch the ball in or if they will have to settle for a field goal. However, at this point, any points is points. You need points on this drive. Uh, and, and if I'm Winton Woods, I'm going for the house. Brown fires in near side, catches me, tackled down at the five. 
Ground pass is complete. Number six made the tackle for Lebanon, Luke Biberich. And that was Tamara Harris on the reception. Wentwoods can pick up a first down at the two yard line. It's third down and three at the five. Under seven minutes to play, third quarter. This is a big third down for Wynn Woods. You're either gonna go for the first down. I mean, you're going for the touchdown regardless. You're gonna put it in the end zone. Brown barking out orders. His man's in motion. He gets set. Brown drops back, fires, catches made, and he's taken down. The Warrior defense has been strong all night. That time, number 24 got to him and made the tackle. That was Jake Seiko. And it'll bring up fourth down. And Chad Murphy has a very big decision to make with his team trailing by 13 points. Offense is still out of the field. And I think they're going to keep him out there. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for it. They're going to try for the end zone. See, the problem is that they keep... When they when they when they when they set up for a pass, they they set up for the small pass. They don't go for anything long. They're set up for the small pass, and that's what it was that uh, ultimately drove them back. Brown has it. Fires to the end zone. Caught in touchdown. Jamar Harris finds the end zone, and Winton Woods finds the scoreboard for the first time tonight. Five and a half left to play in the third. Just a good route there for Jamar Harris. You'll see it right here. Brown drops back to pass. He, he catches it and makes it makes a decent catch and then is able to remember where he was on the field and spin right into the end zone. And now Wynn Woods will set up for the extra point. And like you said, partner, these can be crucial as Lebanon missed one or was blocked rather uh, last in, in the first half. So that one extra point could come back and bite him. Brian Knighton on for the PAT. We're going to have a timeout, Wynton Woods. We have timeout, Wynton Woods. And Wynton Woods will burn their first timeout. Kind of an odd odd time in the game to take a timeout. Yeah, a little odd to take a timeout. And uh, in the third quarter with 5.33 left to go, you've got a whole quarter left to play, and you're down. Okay. Let's go back to the touchdown one more time. Able to bring it in on the on the near side and find the scoreboard for Wynton Woods. So we'll see how we'll see how this plays out uh, as as uh, as Wynton Woods is taking their first time out. You would normally save those for the fourth quarter, so that if you are heading down the field and you need to stop the clock, you can stop it with three timeouts and then start pushing for the sideline or, you know, maybe throwing away an incomplete pass so you can set up something else. Brian Knighton on for the crucial extra point, and he puts it through. Five and a half left to play third quarter. It's a six-point ball game between the Warriors of Winton Woods and Lebanon. The Warriors against the Warriors. In this week 10 showdown postseason, brackets will come out on Sunday. Postseason will get underway a week from tonight. ICRC will let you know where we will be for round one of the postseason. Of course, a lot of ICRC schools making the postseason, including Lebanon, Princeton, Milford, Woods, just to name a few. Our cheerleaders will be throwing out those mini balls. So a little more electric energy over on that Wintwood sideline as they punch it in for their first points of the night. Yeah, I, I just actually realized that the uh, the far sideline uh, bleachers have actually filled up. So Wynton Woods fans are out in full force 
And they've got something to be excited about. Line drive kick taken at the five yard line. And he is wrapped up by number 20. That was Eric Morris who tackled him at around the 17 yard line. So first and 10. Looking at uh, at Lebanon's offense, you know, they've got to come out. If they want to keep the lead, they've got to come out and score. Or at least, a uh, you know, a field goal would, be, would, would suffice. Touchdown is wanted, um, but a field goal would suffice. However, to stop the momentum of this Winton Woods team, you have got to score and then stop them on the next Winton Woods drive. That'll stop all, the mo all momentum. Thaler motions Cook, and then he fires to him. And then Cook avoids the tackle, still on his feet, spinning around Warriors, but finally brought down on the play by number 25 for the Warriors. That's Isaiah Dawson. We've called his name quite a few times tonight. Second and two upcoming. Kyle Cook here, as you see the replay, just really good to, to, to run that route and realize where the ball was going and then wrapped up there and uh, brought down, however, Warriors try to go quick at the line of scrimmage. Going to pick up. He'll be hit in the backfield for a loss. So it brings up third down and short. Under five minutes it's left to play. Three. Third quarter. So the ground game is not working tonight for either team as we look here at the replay. That was the replay of Kyle, of Kyle Cook's catch. Uh, but the ground game is not working for either team. So, and, and, and I'll let you comment on what's going on. Cook in motion. Fires. Catch made. Still on his feet. Never went down. Yeah, Didn't uh, get to the line to gain, I don't believe. They're going to rule him down the where he caught the ball. Cook. Went down at the so it's fourth down. So it'll be fourth and two. Fourth and two. And the punting unit will come on for Micah Failure and company. Under four minutes left to play. Third quarter. Kyle Evans, Logan Dyer, our producer, Dean Lowry, director, Trey Capo, Cameron Rutz on graphics, Jay running the replay, Paris Jacobs, Jacob and Logan running our cameras and embracing the elements. Thanks to all those young men. And if you're interested in helping out ICRC TV, go to icrctv.com. Film sports, council meetings. Nice punt by Forte, or excuse me, by Wynton Woods. Take a live look inside our production look, truck. Yeah, there they are in the truck. Those There's are the, the hard working the men. The hard workers in the truck. But we've got the uh, we've got the camera guys out there that are braving it all. We just sit up here and talk. They push all the buttons, make the graphics look nice. If you're interested in helping out ICRC, contact Dean at icrctv.com. By the way, that's our that's our best truck, right? That's the A team right there. In that's that the truck A team tonight. in the truck. Brown going to throw over the middle and hooking up with his receiver is as he hooks up with um, <clears throat> Tremar Harris, a pair of Warriors able to tackle him down on the play. I think Wenton Woods has a little bit of the momentum right now as we go back to the first uh, as we go back to the first play of this drive. Yes, that, so that was a uh, low snap if you saw that, but a good recovery there by Brown and a good connection to Tamar Harris as they pick up the first down, and they are moving down the field. Here we go. Line of scrimmage is at the 46-yard line under three minutes to play third quarter. Back to the ground game. Bouncing off Warriors down the sideline. Finally shoved out of bounds, and he thought that he did not step out of bounds, but he did. It was um, That was number 25 making the rumbling on that play for Winton Woods. Isaiah Dawson and Winton Woods is really starting to click offensively, especially on the ground game right now. Yeah, they're moving down the field, and as you see here, Isaiah Dawson 
Was, uh, he did step out of bounds there prior to uh, that little shove on the, at the end of the play, but they are moving down the field now. The ground game is effectively working for Wynn Woods. We'll see what they do here. Dawson is going to get it again. Runs right up the right up the defense for a gain of we'll we'll call it three on first down. Brings up second down and seven, under three to play in the third. A really good run. A really good run up the middle there. Like we said, a gain of it was a gain of four technically. Uh, so that brings up second and six. And uh, we'll see if they keep it on the ground or if this time they'll move to the air to see exactly where they can go next. They're almost back into the red zone again. Three receivers out to Bryshawn Brown's left, one to the right, empty backfield, low snap. Brown fires, catch made. Flag flies in at the end of the play. We'll check the penalty Pass marker. Complete, but we have a penalty marker on the play. We also have an injury on the field. Going to get a holding call on Winton Woods. There is a player down. Preliminary call is a hold against Winton Woods. We'll step aside, come back and check in on the injured player after this. Spending time outdoors has never felt more valuable. Whether it's exploring nature or relaxing in your yard, let's do it responsibly. Before going out, check for closures and fire restrictions. Practice social distancing, even when outside and on the trail. Back at home with burning yard debris, keep your pile small. And no matter where you are, be sure to properly extinguish any outdoor fire. Drown, stir, drown, feel. We're all in this together. Help keep our safe places safe. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. Having a mother sure. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover their unique mix of all kinds of traits. Where did Wiley go? Where's Wiley? Ah, there she is. Huh? Do you remember being on Asia Wolf? Do you ever feel the call of the wild? You're a renegade cop, and I'm a con woman with nothing to prove. But together, we could really solve this murder. They're a little bit of a lot of things. But all of them are pure love. your house a reality homeschooling yourself on loans color coding listings and flushing every toilet in a 20 mile radius if you can ace house hunting you can do it for retirement get on track with tips at aceyourretirement.org today i'm going to talk to you about physics come on in girl let's go this is the first rocket to get humans to mars I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be.
coffee first, then I have to get those agendas out. Lasagna tonight, chicken tomorrow. Do we still have potatoes? Matthew's got a baseball practice at six. I should really do laundry tonight. People with jobs, with families, with some place to be. Let's help each other by safely sharing the road. Tri-State Trails, connecting what moves us. species as the backyard. Oh, you think I should light it now? Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, someone is about to burn a pile of debris that's too tall, which can start a wildfire. Wait, could it be? Why, oh, it is. It's Smokey. It's Smokey Bear. What a legend. Hey, it's Smokey. It. Sorry, it was too high. Right. Watch as he astutely ensures that there's no wind and how he removes some of the debris to create a smaller, safer burning pile. No, you can't make it bigger, baby. The bigger, the better. Take note right. of our fearless okay. furry friend here, yeah. humans. I appreciate it. Fist bump. <laughs> Smokey's done it again. Bye, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. Back at Lebanon High School, Kyle Evans alongside Logan Dyer. They continue to um, they continue to work on the injured player for the Lebanon Warriors. We have not gotten a number. He is down at around the 25-yard line. He's been down for about five or six, seven minutes or so, but the medical staff is out there, and uh, both teams and everyone in this uh, stadium just waiting to – for him to get back up, it is. You could hear a dime drop in this this place right now. It's that quiet. But it is that quiet. Just one drop. They, we believe it is number twenty six for the for Lebanon. That is Hudson Newman, a junior. So he, we believe that Hudson Newman is the injured player that the medical staff are treating. We will continue to keep you updated and take another break. This is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. There's no better feeling than to be a part of a fire department. This is a family. Police officer, it's, it's a great job. It really is. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, you never know who you're going to help. We're forgetting what's going on outside. We're focusing on what's going on in here. And we're all family. This idea of a family academy, connecting families to talk about relevant issues. Unbelievable. Milford has stormed all the way back in this football game. And it's up to every one of you all to keep this going and carry the torch. 
I hope you will do that. Thank you. ICRC TV. Back at Lebanon H High School, Hudson Newman giving a thumbs up that he is all he is okay, and the medical staff escorting him off the field. So our thoughts and prayers go to number 26, Hudson Newman. We bring up second down and 17. So after all that long pause, you time to kind of time to time to kind of get your emotions back into the game as a player, as a coach, and a tar partner. And it is. And the coaching staff and the players left for Lebanon are here to uh, get this home field, this home crowd riled up. Brown, ball's deflected. And they're going to say that the pass was deflected at the line of scrimmage. Deflected and incomplete. So it'll bring up third and long for Winton Woods. 142 left to play in this third quarter. The third quarter that has brought us a lot of emotion and um, a, a, a big momentum swing, right? Uh, Winton Woods comes out, scores. Uh, finally gets on the board, gets in the red zone, scores, and now they are facing a third and 17. Brown claps his hands together, pocket collapses, spun down and taken down. A pair of Warriors was able to wrap him up, but number 15, that is number 15, Reagan Bonney got there first to take him down. Number 11 coming off the field, hobbling. Looks like he was uh, involved so, somewhere. We'll see what he what happens to him. He's he come off the field. He's laying down at, uh, at the uh, home the bench. Kim Williams back for Lebanon at about the 13 yard line as Wenton Woods in punt formation. Good snap, nice punt, end over end spiraling. That'll be fair caught. At about the 13-yard line. I don't know if you can see, but over to the far the side, the ambulance is still there. The medical staff is still working on uh, on Mr. Newman and uh, waiting to see when they if, if they will head out. And then the other ambulance is back, is here now to take over, resume spot. So we were talking earlier that an ambulance must be on site uh, at any high school football game and that is correct. A, uh, an ambulance is supposed to be on site at every single football game. Any sporting event, rather. Hats off to the men and women that not only protect our community, but keep us safe. Lebanon football from the, they'll spot the ball at the 17. They're gonna go right to the ground game, nothing doing. Number 20 was able to wrap them up. That was Eric Morris on the play. I don't think they got much of a gain on that first down as we'll we are inside the final minute nine. of the third quarter with Wenton Woods trailing 13 to six. They do not have to run a play if they don't want to. Play clock is at 13. Might be a, about a second difference. They're gonna snap it one more time. Fahler firing, catch made, tackle made Failing across the 22-yard line as Fahler's pass was connected connected with number 18, Jason Sams. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. After three, Lebanon 13, Winton Wood 7. Buckle up, fourth quarter is coming your way. You're watching week 10 of ICRC TV. Back at 
James Vandergriff Stadium on the campus of Lebanon Junior High, Kyle Evans, alongside Logan Dyer, our producer Dean Lowry, director Trey Capo, and our entire ICRC crew. As we get a look at the student section, it is neon country, and it's actually construction night at uh, Lebanon uh, Junior High as they are out in full force in their neon, con uh, neon construction gear. Yeah, a good look at the broadcast booth. You can see down there. <coughs> Third and four. Lebanon has to get to the 28-yard line as we start the fourth and final quarter. Luke Failer going to look over to the sideline to get the play in. Play clock's down to seven. Got to hurry. Play clock's down to three. Gets it off just in time. The ball's deflected and intercepted by Winton Woods. Luke Failer's pass deflected at the line of scrimmage, and it was gobbled up by K.J. Brown. Picks off the Failer pass off the deflection. And off of deflection, the interception. That is huge because now Winton Woods can score and take the lead with the uh, conversion of an extra point. Take a look at the mis miscue. Deflection there and then uh, the interception. Right place, right time for number 27, uh, K.J. Brown. He was there and ready to go, and he was he was going towards the house. Good look there at the sideline of the Winton Woods Warriors. Here we go. So Bryshawn Brown will come back out of the field. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. See how Lebanon responds defensively. Brown going to fire to the end zone on the first play. Caught. Did he hang on? No signal yet. They're celebrating, but I never saw the official's arm go up to signal that it was a touchdown. Touchdown pass complete. Touchdown and is it is confirmed. a touchdown pass. So, Winton Woods scores on one play. Take a look at the replay. Brown, guess who? Harris. Tamar Harris. I talked about him pregame. That's his second touchdown of the night. Brian Knighton bangs through the PAT. And Winton Woods has captured a 14-13 lead in the early stages of the fourth quarter. As we get a look here at the sideline and the donning of the, uh, I would assume that's a necklace of some sort, the touchdown necklace. <laughs> Every uh, team's got their. Every got team's their, doing their own little yeah. thing now, so that's that's pretty cool. Even in the high school sports, you know, pro was doing it. The Reds were doing a, a Viking helmet and a cape. Wynn Woods doing a, a little necklace type deal, uh, and Lebanon with their big confetti that they do on a touchdown. You said it right when we got started for the fourth quarter to buckle up. I got buckled up, did you? I'm buckled up, partner. Brian Knighton will kick it away. A 5'7 junior about to put his right foot into this one. Nice end over and kick. Taken from the five. And they jumps out across the 15 yard line. So some Lucas Roddy on about a five, return. six yard return. And we'll see Lebanon come right back to offense as we go back to the touchdown one more time. Here's one more look at it. Never saw, an never saw a signal by the officials I didn't at either. all. I didn't either, but looking back at the touchdown, you can confirm that that is indeed a touchdown with the catch two, two feet in and possession of the ball. I never did, like you said, never did see a touchdown signal from the officials, but uh, Winton Woods was celebrating. So, And then confirmed by the uh, PA announcer next door to us. So 18 seconds have elapsed in this fourth quarter and the Warriors of Winton Woods have the lead. Now Lebanon trying to respond. Cook had it, here come the flags. 
Pass interference is going to be called against Wynton Woods. Looks like it's going to be against number four, number one, one of the two. Two flags flew out onto the field. Either Ty Bowler or Dominio Rogers Jr. They were both in the vicinity. Pass interference. Defense, number 24. Number 24, actually. First down. Well, no, number four. Doesn't even turn his head around to play the ball. Last minute does, but at that point, the contact had already been initiated. So uh, a 15-yard penalty and a, an automatic first down. That's big yardage right there for the Warriors of the home team, Lebanon Warriors. And uh, we'll see what uh, Luke Fayer can do here now. Taylor on the pistol. Fakes the handoff. Fires to Cook. Incomplete. And Ty flag. Bowler might have got a hand on it. There's a penalty flag back behind the line of scrimmage. Kyle Cook awaiting the call on the near sideline. It's going to be against Lebanon, I believe. It's in the backfield. We haven't even played 30 seconds in this fourth quarter. And it's going, it's going haywire out here. Number seven. They're calling on sportsmanlike, on sportsmanlike conduct penalty on Lebanon, which is a 15-yard penalty. So it basically just erases that first 15-yard penalty of the pass interference. Now we're back at square one. So officials trying to sort it all out. So they marked second off the penalty. It'll be second and 25. Yards, and they're going to have the ball spotted at the 24-yard line. <laughs> Baylor takes the snap, fires to Cook, has him. Cook trying to wrestle his way away from Ty Bowler. He finally gets taken down to the ground. No whistle. Fans getting restless here at James Vandergrift Stadium. Wanted a flag. Won't get it. Clock continues to roll. And it's third down and 19. Lebanon has to get to the 49-yard line. To their own 49-yard line. Pick up the first down. Move the chains. Very... Uh I wouldn't say an odd play. I'd say it was a short. It was a short pass to Kyle Cook, uh, and just to try to get some yards back. We'll see what happens here, third and long. Lucas Roddy in motion. Failure rolling to his left. All kinds of time. Chucks it up down the field, but he was already out of bounds. He was out of bounds. So it'll bring up fourth down and 19. Baylor limping off the sideline, limping onto the sideline, I should say. And he is not happy with himself, nor is he happy with what's going on. It's That's the first time I've actually probably seen an unsportsmanlike conduct on the quarterback. There was a, there was an interception there if that, if that, uh, if that uh, play would have stood, you know. Nice, uh, nice look from our camera crew. Forte will kick it away. Winton Woods waiting back at their 35-yard line. They'll take it on a hop. Weaving through traffic. And finally, still on his feet as he trickles down the near sideline, and he's finally wrapped up and by gonna, Luke DeMichael. There is a flag at the 45-yard line. Interesting. And again, we have a penalty marker on the play. Illegal block in the back against Wynn Woods is what the is what the official was. Take a look at the replay. Illegal block in the back on the return. 10-yard penalty. Right there. First down. Number nine, Let's go, I believe Landon Anderson, if I'm correct, was. Uh, was uh, targeted for the illegal block in the back. 
So after the penalty, it'll, they'll spot the ball at the Wenton Woods 45 yard line. 10 18 left to play, fourth quarter. One point lead for Wenton Woods. I believe Wenton Woods escaped another team this year by one. We'll dive into that and we'll let you know. Uh, it was Friday, uh, the 29th of September against Kings for the final score, 13 to 12. So Chad Murphy has been here before. Brown pitches it to his running back in the backfield. And he skitters out of bounds. Gets taken down very hard on the track. That was number two, Charles Jones. And the players starting to fight. And yeah. here come multiple penalty markers. Yep, there was a, uh, if, if, if you couldn't see it, there was uh, the, the running back did signal the first down. And it was on the sideline of the Lebanon Warriors, I think which it, initiated the flag. I, I think believe. it all started after Charles Jones was thrown to the track. I think he wanted a, I think he wanted a flag for that. And then I didn't. I happened to happen to glance down, so I didn't catch what happened after Charles Jones got ran out of bounds. So it's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct. Where they're working to sort it all out. Here's the replay. So Charles Smith comes up. Well. And. We have two dead ball fouls, both unsportsmanlike conduct, Quentin Woods. Number two and number six. So an unsportsmanlike conduct on number six. Yards and 15 yards. That's what we tell you. Second down. Second down, second down. Trying to figure out, did they call it against what they – they called two dead. They called two dead ball personal fouls against Wynton Woods. So that's the case. That's thirty yards. So the officials are going to mark it off. It will be first down after those two 15 yard penalties. So it is against. So both personal fouls against Wynton Woods. That's a thirty yard penalty. Fifteen for each personal foul. Sets up a pretty long first down here. It is first and 40. <laughs> so first down and 40. 10-14 left to play here in the fourth. Lebanon Crazies getting into it. Their team trailing by a point. I've got to say, though, great remorse or great uh, restraint from the Lebanon sideline to not get involved. We've seen a couple a couple games ourselves where something like that would happen and it would agonize the other team and they would both start a fight. We've seen two games, I believe, uh, in our time together, and we've seen that now. The, uh, whoa, uh, the chain game is moving back, don't know why. So it's first down and 30. I don't know exactly what's going on down there. They, the chains moved with the team. I, that shouldn't have happened. A lot of restless fans. The Lebanon sideline, the, the Lebanon proud, rather, Voicing their opinion, and it uh, looks like head coach Failer is down there talking to the official to see exactly what's going on. We're trying our best to sort it out up top. So Micah Fowler continues his discussion with our white cap official. It was originally first down and 40. Chain, the 
Chain gang reset, making it first down and 30. Well, right now it's set at first and 10. So after all the miscommunication and misunderstanding, we'll resume play. It'll be first and 30 from the 25-yard line. Rashawn, Rashawn Brown is going to fire an out, out run pass. Flag flies in. And a huge hit on the play by Luke Burrich as he takes number 12 to the ground. That was Charles Mathis. Another penalty flag at the 30. It's going to be against Wynton Woods. Here's the catch. Flag flies in, and then that's when Number six on the offense. That's when Three Luke Bur Burrich First drove him into the ground. It's taking about 15 minutes to play two minutes. So it backs him up five yards for the uh, holding. 10.04 left. One point game. Ball spotted at the 18 yard line. It remains first down, now 17. So now it's first and 17. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out how that is. Man in motion. More penalty markers on the field. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty replay. It's another five yard penalty against the, the Warriors of Winton Woods. A five yard false start penalty. So it's first and 22. Wynn Woods has to get to the Win Woods has to get to their own 35 yard line to pick up the first down. First and 22. Brown hands it off. Nothing doing at the line of scrimmage. Lebanon swallows him up. Number 50 got in there and took him down for the Warriors. That was Brody Lamb. A freshman brings up second and 24. Clock continues to roll. Under 10 minutes left to play here in regulation. See, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, still trying to figure out the entire mess here. Lebanon coaching staff trying to fire up their team and the fire up the fans. Brown claps his hands together, rolling back, fires over the middle, and the pass was incomplete. It hit the turf, trying to connect with Charles Mathis. Third down and 24. This would give, give Lebanon some great field position if they're able to force the three and out, stop them. Would make for a very interesting next drive for Lebanon because if they can do that, they can stop them, get great field, uh, field position. And I mean, honestly, all you need is a field goal, but Let's, let's theoretically say you want to go for, for the home run. You want to go for the touchdown. The crowd is on their feet. Brown heaves it up down the field. Nobody there. And he grabbed it, but did he hang on and bounce? No signal again by the officials. So the pass is incomplete. Brown was trying to connect with his target, Landon Anderson. The pass was complete, however, it was out of bounds. So the officials ruled it out of bounds, no catch. We'll take a look at it one time. And he was already out of bounds yeah, he when was, he had the football. Yeah, he was way out of bounds when he went for the football. So back to punt. Lucas Roddy back deep. The punt was blocked. And it'll roll out of bounds around the 20, 
About the 26 yard line. So great field position with 8.57 left to play in the fourth. Lebanon has the football. Let's look again at that punt. I believe it was deflected by, it was deflected by some, by, I, I'm going to assume it was deflected by a Lebanon uh, defender. I think number nine, Cooper Scott got his hand on it. I saw him in the vicinity. I was wondering if it maybe had come off of a, a Wynton Woods uh, back, maybe. Baylor back out there, rolling out, and will just throw it away. Being pressured on the play was number 27 for Wynton Woods. That was K.J. Brown chasing Baylor out of bounds. Second and 10, clock stopped, 8.52 left. We dive deeper into the night here on the last night of the regular season. Wouldn't have it any other way to go down to the wire between Winton Woods and Lebanon in this Eastern Cincinnati Conference showdown. Man in motion, Failure fires and trying to connect with Kyle Cook. Here comes the flag. Pass interference at number four. A good, Kyle Cook is, is really good at what he does down there on the field. Uh, and it was a good. It was a good call. However, that's gonna that's gonna give Lebanon a really good field advantage here, uh, and and able to see. Here's the replay. Yep, uh, he got the arm. He 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 hooked the arm of Kyle Cook, number four. Ty Bowler hooked the arm, and uh, that is that is uh, definitely pass interference. So first down, automatic first down and 15-yard uh, penalty. So they'll spot the ball at the Winton Woods 13. Baylor drops back, fires over the head of Cook. Looking for his ninth touchdown here in 2023. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Still in field goal range. If you don't find the back of the end zone on this possession. Definitely within field goal range. Clock is down to 10. 10. Baylor rolling out to his left. Fires back in the end zone and nice deflection. I believe that was number eight who got his hands on that. Justice Hill for Wynn Woods might have just saved a potential touchdown. It's third down and 10. Now let's look at this one more time. Number eight, Justice Hill. Well, Actually, it was, was number 13. Excuse me, my apologies. Number that 13. That was Sasante Stewart Jr. getting his hands in there. I was about to say, number eight, Justice Hill has 13 sacks this year alone. Uh, I was, or, and was looking to see exactly where he was on that play sequence. Baylor rolling out to his left, being pressured. Fires, has it, catch me, and Wynton Woods tackling him. He, he dives forward for the first down. So it's first and goal. And it's Kyle Cook. Diving. Hungry for his ninth touchdown of the campaign. Well, you tried to give it to him earlier, so he, he heard you. Another look at it again. Credit the offensive line First for from the three yard line. blocking while Failer rolled out. First and goal from the three. Everyone gets set. Failer hands it off to his running back, and he can't get in. Swarmed up. Maybe no gain on the play. That was number 57 
making the, the tackle of for Wenton Woods. It'll be second and goal. Number 57 is uh, Lay Lael Jones. Kyle Cook at that uh, on that play was lined up on the near side. He's going to go far side. No, nah, no, nah, he's going to come back near side. Cook's going to line up near side. Lucas Roddy and Cook lined up by each other. Seven and a half left to play. It's second down and goal for Lebanon. Baylor rolling out to his right. Fires to the end zone. Contact. Flag flies. Half the distance to the goal line. A penalty marker in the end zone. Automatic first down. So a new fresh set of downs. The ball should be placed on the one. Defense, number four. Pass interference on number four again. That is Ty Bowler. He's been the guilty party of a couple different uh, pass interferences. So it's first and goal from the one. Mark it the two. First and goal for Lebanon. Baylor right up under the huddle. Baylor's going to push his way forward. Did he get in? No signal yet. Yeah. He's in for the touchdown. <laughs> Quarterback keeper. <laughs> Warriors most likely going to keep the offense out on the field. Go for two. Try to make this a 21-14 ball game. So Baylor will stay out there, see what kind of play. We'll see what kind of play they draw up as Baylor dove forward and just barely got in. Yeah, timeout. timeout. And Lebanon will take their first timeout to talk over this critical two-point conversion. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to obtain that one point, that one extra point that they missed uh, earlier on in the game. That, like we talked about, could come back and bite them if they can convert on this two point conversion. That will bring it right back in, and and this game will be a seven point game, a one score game. And uh, I, I dare to say it, but Kyle, do we do we do we think about overtime? Why not? It's the last week of the regular season. We'll see what happens here. So we'll get a look at the uh, student section for the home Warriors. Critical play. That's why they called the timeout. It was actually Winton Woods that called the timeout. Okay. So they must have saw something that they weren't too sure about. So they take the timeout. Luke Failer and company back out onto the field. 7-13 left to play fourth quarter. In a game that has been going on for almost three hours. We kicked off at 7 o'clock. It's 15 minutes till 10. Two-point try for a seven-point lead. Over the middle and incomplete. Baylor's, two point pass Baylor's pass was intended for Luke Baylor's Edmonds. Couldn't hang on. And it remains a five-point game. That ball went right over his head. Baylor uh, threw it a little too high. Uh, it went over his head and... Uh, uh, Edmund just wasn't ready for that pass. I, I don't think they had that scouted up correctly. Marching Warriors enjoying this one. Wentwood's marching band has half the stands on the Wentwood sideline full. The annual senior walk, 15 minutes post game. As the Lebanon Warriors are getting ready for their senior walk, 15 minutes after the game. Carson Forte will get set to kick it away. Two Winton two went Woods players back at their own 10. And 
It is senior night here at Win at uh, Lebanon. Excuse me. Lebanon hoping for not only a win on senior night, but would guarantee them a first round playoff match. A little squib kick that will be picked up at the 10 yard line. He's got all kinds of space out across the 30, taken down around the 36 Rodney yard line. Return. So a nice kickoff return by Jamar, Damal, Damal Rogers Jr. From the 37. I've seen that squib kick all night long. They've been uh, work. They've been they've been uh, using that kick for a majority of the night. And uh, the uh, the home crowd is getting up and getting loud out here. Here we go. Bryson Brown in at quarterback for Winton Woods. 706 left to play in the fourth. Brown fires. And the catch is made by Tremar Harris for a gain of about four. It's going to bring up second and six as we dip under seven minutes left to play. Fourth quarter. Winton Woods has two timeouts in their back pocket. Lebanon has two timeouts in their back pocket. So someone called a timeout somewhere that we didn't catch. I believe the <laughs> Winton Woods timeout was previous to the previous timeout that we just had. But I, our, I do believe the, the Lebanon timeout was confirmed. Back to the ground game, nothing doing as he runs right into the arms of Quentin Wagner. Nothing on the ground, no gain at all. The ground game for Winton Woods is almost non-existent. Um, most, of their, most of their plays are coming from the air. Third down and six. He has to get to the 48-yard line. Three receivers out to the right. One to the left. Three to the left, one to the right. Brown has to get rid of it in a hurry. And he's taken down the backfield. Quentin Wagner wraps him up. There is a penalty marker on the play. We'll check. The flag. I believe it's going to be maybe a horse collar. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. They're going to call a face mask penalty. Face mask. On Lebanon, number 15. So a 15 yard penalty, I believe it was number 15. Reagan Bonney is number 15. First and 10 for Renton Woods following the penalty from the 43 yard line of Lebanon. But a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down after the personal so foul. Into Lebanon territory. Brown, all kinds of time. Catch is made over the middle. Mikhail Satterwhite. Again to Harris is good. Yeah, the That'll official had to duck out of the way there. That pass was Lebanon. low and coming right for the official there. You might see it on the replay here. Low snap. Official ducks out of the way. Tremar Harris makes the catch and in traffic and, and was taken down by two Lebanon, uh, Lebanon defenders. Brown on his feet. Flag flies from the backfield. It's gonna be a hold. Be a hold against Wynn Woods. It'll be first down and replay first down. Guilty party is number 72. Chaz Sanders.
First and 20. Ball all the way to the 11 and 39 yard line. Ty Levins, Logan Dyer, Dean Lowry, our producer, Trey Capo, and our entire ICRC crew bringing you this one. Brown spun down the backfield. This time it's number 66 that's able to goggle him up. That's Tanner Smith getting a huge sack. With the help of number 30, or number number 50, I believe. Number 11, sorry, rather, sorry. So Quentin Wagner also in on the stop. It's second down and 30 as we go back to the sack. Drop back to throw, number 66 was there, number 11 was there as well to uh, assist, but the uh, sack goes to number 66. Textbook play there by the defense, and it's now a long second down. Quentin Woods has to get to the 11 and 30 yard line to continue this drive. First, they're looking at picking up a good chunk of yardage. Little screen pass. And they'll pick up about 10 as they try to bring Charles Mathis to the ground. They can't. And it's gonna bring up second, it's gonna bring up third down and 22. So they gained eight on the play. Clock continues to roll. It's under four minutes left to play. Now let's say uh, let's say you're Wynton Woods, right? And you don't come up with a third down conversion, you come up fourth down. How you how do you play this amount? I think you gotta go for it, but I think it I think it depends on I think it depends on how far how how much yards you gain on this play. Say they get back to the line of scrimmage. That's the 30-yard line. The first down would be the 19. Brown fires down the side. Catches made by Harris. He avoids a tackler. He's still short of the first down. I think Chad Murphy's going to go for it. Three yards, I believe. Two or three yards is the distance. Well, my apologies. It's, it's, it's third down now. So it's third down in three. Actually, it is fourth down and four, and the field goal just doesn't cut it right here. No, field goal doesn't cut it here. You've got to score if you're Wynton Woods. You need a score here to stay in this game. The offense or the uh, home team, Lebanon Warriors, are on their feet on the sideline. Fourth and four. Brown takes the snap, fires over the middle, incomplete, no flags. An incomplete pass from Bryshawn Brown on fourth and four. Now brings up a Lebanon first down with the ball with three minutes and 16 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. So yeah. Lebanon gets the stop they wanted. Now can Wynton Woods lock down defensively, try to get the ball back just one more time. Let's uh, let's look back to last week at Loveland, or versus Loveland rather. One fumble forced and recovered. That fumble was forced by number one, Don, uh, Dominell Rogers Jr. and it was recovered by TJ Buckman. First and 10 from the 23. Warriors are going to pick up a good chunk of yardage on this first down play as Thaler throws it out to Logan Logan Shemek, Shemek. And they pick up first down. They pick up the first down, 306 and counting. Two timeouts remaining for each team as we look at the replay here. The uh, ground game is gonna is gonna be huge because now if you're 11 and you're running every, you're running the ball regardless because uh, if you pass the ball it stops the clock and on an on an incomplete pass. First and ten from the 34, 240 left to play here in the fourth. Back to the ground game. This time nothing doing. They're gonna drop them for a loss. Make again the ball carrier. This time he'll be hit behind the line of scrimmage. Chad Murphy still electing to not he'll use a timeout. Two timeouts remaining for each team. Second down and 11. I think he's, I think he's trying to play this out. 
be very surprised if he doesn't call timeout after this next play. Clock continues to roll with 2-10 and counting. No two-minute warning in high school football. Play clock's down to nine. He has to get to the 43-yard line to move the chains. Failure rolling out to his left. And he's going to be about two yards short. Chad Murphy will burn his second timeout with a minute 46. So he was keeping, he was keeping those two timeouts in his back pocket, hoping his, t hoping his defense can get the stop right here, take that timeout. We got by, a huge by the time he punt it. Leaves Wenton Woods. We'll say minute and a half left to play. Huge third down right here. Uh, if um, if Lebanon picks it up, I could just about guarantee that this game would be complete and this game would be over. So Wenton Woods defense has got to get a stop here if they want to. Uh, if they want to play for the win, they've got to get a stop here. Force them to, to uh, force them to kick it. Force them to punt and then give the offense a chance to uh, come back out and get a couple big passing plays to get down the field. Third and two, line of scrimmage is the 42 yard line. Following the timeout, we come back, it's third and two for the Warriors. Lebanon has to get to the 44 yard line. Wenton Woods needs a critical stop right here, right now. They're going to hand it off to the ground game, and he's going to be taken down. He bounces to the outside, and he's down the far sideline. He's at the 30, and he's going to be spun out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Number 47 on the play there is the running, is the uh, rusher. Logan Schmink as they pick up the first down. Victory formation. Wynton Woods has just one timeout left. Thaler will take a knee. Up oh, there's the flag. And here comes the flag. I, I, I could have guessed that was coming. It's going to be. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number three on the offense. 15 yard penalty. Second down. On the off, that was the 15. That was an unsportsmanlike conduct on number three. So they called the. On Kyle they called, Kosh. The, ca called the flag on Kyle Cook. Cook. Wouldn't believe we have a replay of that. Look at this. Here's the football back to the 28 yard line. I don't see anything. I didn't see anything convincing there for a, 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 a unsportsmanlike conduct. I believe they got. I believe the officials got that one wrong. However, they're going to take another knee. Hold on. I think they're going to get this one right. Micah Failure having words with our official. And at this point, it's all but said and done once Lebanon takes a knee. Well, the problem is, is the fact that on that last play, there was some kind of in, there was some kind of contact from the from Wynn Woods that uh, had initiated that flag. I, I don't unless there was something said on the field. That would be my guess. Failure will take a knee. Fail is a ball carrier. No timeout. 
Winton Woods. Winton Woods will take their final timeout. Time out of the half. So, very uh, vocal crowd here tonight on that on that previous play. The uh, Luke Baylor decided to take a knee, and when that knee was taken, there was a little bit of contact from Winton Woods, and. Uh, there was no flag on the field. But we do have an injury down on the field. Please set the game clock to 58 seconds. They're adding three seconds on the game clock. I don't think I've seen this before. So an injured player for Lebanon down at the 25 yard line. He is back to his feet. This is number 74. Caden Bender, the senior, Bender back to his feet. His and time. we should all but be about two kneel downs away from these two schools not only finishing the regular season, Winton Woods will drop to seven and three, six and three in the conference. Lebanon will improve to seven and three, six and three in the conference. And the postseason will get underway a week from tonight. Officials are talking it over at the 30-yard line. Number 73 could not get off in time. So 12 men in the huddle. That was Noah Juliuson. men on the field, offense. Five yard penalty, replay, third down. So it's first down, third, third down, and 30. Wynton Woods has no timeout, so Two more kneel downs. This game should be over. However, we'll have, there, there should be some time left. Baylor takes a knee. He gets, there's some contact after the play. Baylor takes a knee. It'll be fourth down. And now a flag thrown, I believe, on the Lebanon bench. This is probably going to go against. I'm going to take a guess. It's going to go against the either the bench or the, the, the crowd. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the assistant coach, Lebanon. 15 yard penalty. It'll be four So some, some contact at the end of the play there. Well, they actually got that flag. They called an unsportsmanlike conduct on the assistant coach for uh, Lebanon. Lebanon. Yes. Uh, I've never heard that call before. Some contact there, and, and, and I've, we've, we've been going over this the past couple plays. There was contact on each of those plays, and and there's there's been some. And now they call a an unsportsmanlike conduct against the assistant coach. I, I don't know how much more that that <laughs> – that they have to hear. They're going to punt this ball away. And uh, Wynwood's going to have some time left on the clock here. Forte boots it. Down 
So it's going to be first down. Quentin Woods from the 25 yard line with 31 seconds left to play. No timeouts remaining for Wynton Woods. Two timeouts remaining for Lebanon. We'll see what the away Warriors can draw up here to see if they can score the game winning touchdown. They need a touchdown. A field goal will not suffice. Brown huddling the troops. 31 seconds left to play. Brown drops back to pass, fires down the field. Can't hang on. No flag. Trying to connect with Charles Mathis. Charles Mathis is incomplete. It'll be second down, second down and 10 with 26 seconds left to play. Good, a good attempt downfield to get some yardage. However, just overthrown him, overthrown Mathis. And we'll see what uh, what Brayshawn, uh, Brayshawn can do next. Brayshawn Brown. Brown drops back and he's taken down. Thirteen seconds left. Brown fires it down the field and incomplete. Four seconds left. And it's fourth down. Fourth down, one more play left. If I'm Lebanon, I'm just staying back as far as I can. That way you keep the you keep them in front of you. Keep the ball in front of you. Don't guard up on the line. Let them let them go for that deep pass. Stay back and keep as much distance as you can in front of you. The Lebanon faithful doing the tomahawk chalk. Four seconds left to play. Brown going to be sacked, and that's the ball game. Lebanon escapes. They win on senior night. They will finish the season at seven and three. Six and three in the Eastern Cincinnati Conference. Wynton Woods will drop to seven and three as well. Six and three in the conference. For my broadcast partner, Logan Dyer, our director, our producer, Dean Lowry, director, Trey Capoe, and our entire ICRC crew, Kyle Levin, saying so long and good night from Warren County, you've been watching ICRC-TV.